Right, so what I've got here is the starter motors off the Merlin. Uh, and as you can see, there's, uh, there's two types, uh, both of a different supply, and that, that's got a gear on it, and that operates another gear there that then goes up in, into the engine. Um, this okay. one yeah. is a British Merlin, and this one is a Packard Merlin. This one, uh, as I said earlier, this one is US, the, um, it looks like the armage is burnt out on it because the commutator and the brush is really badly burnt. And this one rattles, oh. and that's why I'm finding out why it's doing that now. So uh, it feels like one of the bearings has gone. But, so the so, Packard one, there's no Packards on this Lancaster? No, we have got, I think we've got a Packard over in, in the storage area. A, a Packard engine. A Packard engine. So it's but worth that, doing that up yeah, a bit. That, do it. that one, the, the Packard hasn't got a starter motor. Oh, I think one over there hasn't got a starter motor on it. Can right. you explain why it was rattled then, Spence? Okay, the reason it was rattling is that uh, when I stripped it apart, I found that someone has uh, has had a way with the with the inner or with the front ball bearing. So this was just. So there was no racing at all. There's, there's no racing it at all. It's been taken off, complete with circlip, yeah. and it's gone. It's missing. Uh, so I've taken the housing out, and uh, I'm going to um, measure that up now, and then we'll have a look on the in the bearing book yeah. and see what we can find that's the same yeah. size. Is it my imagination, or are those at an angle? The um... they are at an angle. Yes. Yeah. yeah. It's all to do with uh, the magnetic flux and torque. Yeah. Um, because they're at a, I suppose... If, are, if, are all electric motors if they're no No. 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 Because these, I mean, I think these are 24 volts and they pull something around about 160 amps. The ribs are now being assembled onto the spar. Will you be replacing these at angle brackets then, or no? Are they original? They're all the original. Yeah. There's only one I needed replacing, that, but that'll, that's one there which I've, I've already yeah. made. Oh, you've had to build a new one of those, haven't you? Yeah, it's quite easy. Yeah. Well, what's this for? That, that's that, 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 that's a locking tab for the um, the trim tab mechanism. Yeah, that goes through that hole and there's a nut the other side and that's just like a, a locking tab to stop stop that nut from turning oh yeah when it's all in adjusted like yeah and that, there's a there's a wire comes in through through this hole here wraps around here that, that is held steady and that turns that turns which screws, oh, it screws that, that up, yeah. In and out. Yeah. So it uh, well, it makes it shorter or longer and, and adjusts the tab at the same time. Yeah. Oh. And it's the one at the other end of these is just just this trim. Just just one on the on, on this this tab here is the balance tab. If you look on the Lancaster, you'll see an arm sticking up with a rod, and that's that's fixed to the wing. And when 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 the aileron goes down. It shortens it. Yeah, it, it, it just takes off some of the strain of, of, of actually moving the ailerons. It directs air. Are they all the same? I know they're shorter the three in the middle, but they all the same length, are they? Yeah, it's just, just, it's just there's three here. And those there, yeah. yeah. So what do you do then? You assemble it with all the old ones first and then replace yeah, one at a time. Put the laser on, make, make sure all these are in the correct position if the laser should match up to the cross piece there. Make sure they're all like that. And then this is this is um, rib eight. They're all rib eight, that's 
the new rebate and uh, replace, replace, replace as I go along yeah. all the way and then put the trading edge in and it yeah. should, uh, should be old. Uh, and you'll have to drill all the holes for the fabric holders, will you? Yeah. yeah. So Will you have to cut that piece out? Yeah. Yeah. Slightly longer. I just have to make this bit here as well. Shape that. Yeah. Put that in. But that, that, that's how it is. It's, yeah. It's it's a bit longer. He's made it a bit longer just to um, to make sure it, it, it's going to fit. So a little bit dressed yeah. down to size. Yeah. So you put an angle 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 shape there, do you? To yeah, there's a narrow bracket at the bottom. Yeah. Which is put riveted to the to the spar and then you got these these brackets which supported it at the side to give it to the, an the angle at the, the top, riveted to them, riveted to the bottom, riveted to the back and riveted there. Yeah. Mm. And then your cover strip goes on. Yeah. Which takes up some of these holes. Yeah. And then you've got your fabric holding down strip on top of them, which makes more, hole, more holes in it. Yeah, yeah. So it looks like a bit bit like Swiss cheese at the end of it. The trailing edge. Oh, you've got new ones of those. Yeah, we've got new ones. That's, that's, a, that's a sample of it. Oh, I see. Yeah. It's riveted together. Let's make it. But we haven't we haven't got a bit. Couldn't be, couldn't make a bit all all, all of this length for here. So we've actually got it in three sections and put the repair patches in yeah. to hold it all together. Yeah. And it's going to be a completely new set of ribs, is it? No, no. This one here. This one here, all the originals, and they're, they're okay to use again. Yeah. yeah. All, all the rest like, like this one. This yeah. one here. It's got corrosion bits missing out of it. It's got... Uh, got corrosion it's really really thin if you try to dress um, take that corrosion out you uh, you actually go through the metal and you can see it's misshapen there so, yeah yeah we try, we try to keep as many as many of the, as the originals as possible there's only two the rest are either, either heat damaged or, or, or broken basically yeah. being corroded oh, so, you, so you'll get them all set up drill all the holes in, take them all down and get it painted and then assemble it.